Welcome to Breathe, Move, Rest. This is a yoga-based practice designed to help you meet the minimum of connecting body, mind, and breath. Using the practices of asana, that's the postures, pranayama, that's the focus, intentional breathing, and meditation or mindfulness and choosing restoration, summarized or simplified as rest. This practice is meant to be done on a daily basis, adapting to the energy needs that you have, whether you're treating a, a recovery or maybe feeling a little overwhelmed mentally, spiritually, or physically. Adapt your practice, but show up consistently so that you have the firm foundation of wellness and self-care to then give you access to the fullest capacity to make choices, to engage lovingly, to live your best life, to let yoga be the practice of living well. Welcome. Find a comfortable seat. I'm on a cushion with my sits bones rooted and planted, a nice tall spine. Soften the shoulders and maybe even draw the chin back. Not so much down as just back to open up the airway to ease full breathing. Notice the texture of your breath. Is there any sticky places? Is there any kind of catches or hesitancies? Perhaps there's even a desire to moan or sigh. Let that go in the sense that give yourself permission to make noise, to release tension. Hmm. What have you noticed about the quality of your breath? Just by breathing, you're doing enough. By applying a little bit of energy, of attention and effort to notice your breath, you are already enhancing your experience with prana, your relationship of intimacy. Thirdly, then, we can bring in an intention of tickling the edge or practicing a little more focused effort. And for today, I want to invite you to a, a longer exhale. So perhaps it's a count of three, four, five, doesn't matter the length, it's the tempo. Maintain that tempo so that the inhale is then matched by a longer exhale, up to as twice as long if you can stay in a steady mind state. In other words, not gasping for the next breath, smooth and steady. So I'm gonna take you through a few and then leave you to adjust for your own timing and your own pacing. Draw the breath in, two, three, four. Out, two, three, four, five, six. Breathe in, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, five, six, in, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, five, six, continue.
you lose your count, lose your rhythm, take a cleansing breath and begin again. Using that same breath pattern, longer on the exhale, we'll begin to move our spine. So on the inhale, cap the back. On the exhale, a little longer, cow the belly, pull the heart forward. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale to exhale. Last one here. Inhale, arms open wide and bring them down through center. Exhale. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, come down, two, three, four. Add a swivel, five, six. Inhale. Last one. Good. Now reversing the flow of that breath with the same cat cow. This time we're gonna inhale as the heart comes forward. So inhale, two, three, four. Linger for that exhale. Two, three, four, five, six. Good, inhale, switch. And back, exhale, two, three, four, five, six. Good, one more. Come back up to an upright spine, shoulder circles up, back and down. Alternate breath, inhale and exhale, or inhale on one side and an exhale on the other side, coming back to more of an even breath. We'll do that uneven breath again in just a moment. From the shoulders, you might move into an elbow reach. Notice how there's some swing, some rotation, some spiraling perhaps through your spine. Good. 
This time as you twist to your first side, whatever that means, hold it, big in, two, three, four, and out, two, three, four, five, six. Up and over, arms reach in, two, three, four, come down, exhale, two, three, four, five, six. Stay here, inhale, exhale. Last one here, inhale for four. Six or more. Good. Inhale up and over. One, two, three, four. Exhale, twist. Two, three, four, five, six. Inhale up. Two, three, four. Exhale down. Two, three, four, five. Six, one more time each direction, your count. Linger a little longer, try to coordinate the movement of the arms to take as long as the transitioning of the breath. As you come back through center, inhale up. With the elbows back and down. And then lace or thread the arms around the back side, holding the tops of the hips or intertwining the fingers. Big breath. Good. Take some nods of the chin. The shoulders are going to be a little bit higher, perhaps. That's okay. We're using that to support the weight of the head. Nice. From the nod, turn to the side. Tilting the ear towards the shoulder. Good. Moving into that lateral spinal movement. Head comes to neutral. Inhale the arms up. Base arm for support. Top arm has its choice. Exhale. Roll to the side. Inhale up and over. Inhale. Two. Three. And four, switch the exhale as you descend to the second side. Two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six. So yes, this might be belaboring the effort and maybe even challenging you a bit to stay in this slow movement. Let that be a counter or restoration from the busyness that might be your day-to-day -day normal activity. And one more round each side. Move to our lower body. Coming off of your feet, freeing your legs in whatever fashion is available. Support from behind and rock the knees. Let them sway from side to side. Notice the natural pattern of your breath. Is it slower? Is it faster? Perhaps just even mentioning it. You notice how quickly you let go of that focus of attention on the breath. It's okay. Just notice it. That's the point of practice. As the knees sway, take the back arm around 
to the bottom knee and then twist again towards the back. Good, unwind forward and exhale to the second side. Inhale forward. This time coming up a little bit higher perhaps. Plant the hand, plant the thigh and lift up to come back down. Inhale through the front. Exhale to the other side. Good. This time, same thing with the lower body. Drop the knee, but reach that back arm all the way around. And then extend that top leg. Good. Back to the center. <sighs> and reach. And unwind. Flex and point. Scroll up and down your feet. Good. Figure four, bottom leg could be straight, top leg crosses over. And what I mean by could be, it could also be bent and you could slide into a little tighter fold. If this is really awkward to be upright, then recline back onto your spine. We call that a reclined figure four pose. Circle the ankle. And reverse it. If you're reclined, if you're upright, this is an option for you. Make some space and sway the unit of that figure four shape from side to side. Done. Soles of the feet together. Again, you could be reclined or you could be upright. And we're right back into a few rounds of cat and cow. Good. And then a big old stirring of the pot. Let the ribs roll. Doesn't have to be big, doesn't have to be as obvious perhaps as maybe what you think my ribs are doing. I've done this for a long time. Back to my dance days, the undulation of the torso, finding this micro movement of all of the abdominal control muscles, right? A little bit goes a long way, however, so don't feel like you need to make major changes to how much control you have here in your torso. All right, bring the hands together. We're going to switch back to the other side in just a moment. But for a moment, for an interlude, reach one hand up, one hand down. Look up. And exhale, come back to center. Ha. Other side, inhale. And exhale. Same thing, this time look down. Inhale, reach in opposite directions. Exhale. And inhale. And exhale. And just notice if you had a preference. Did you prefer to look up? Did you prefer to look down? What worked for you? Good. Then moving on. Opposite side. Crossing the ankle over the thigh. Whether the bottom leg is straight or bent or you recline back. Circle the ankle. Reverse that circling, maybe adjust the stretch. This is a stretch primarily for the outer hip and buttocks muscles, the piriformis and the external rotator team on my top leg thigh. So if you're leaning towards that thigh, you're gonna diminish some of that stretch. So really stabilizing an even seat as much as possible will really help to focus the stretch into an area that tends to get pretty tight. I mean, there's a reason that a lot of us could be diagnosed as tight asses. I know I can be. I like to think of a recovering, maybe still in process. Recovering tight ass, could that be? Oh, goodness. And breathe. Good. 
flex, point, circle, scroll, whatever that foot and ankle needs. And then we're gonna come on down to our spine. Just a few rounds of bridge before we settle into our Savasana rest. And well, prior to that, we'll do a final twist, right? So feet planted just at the end of your fingertips. If you could reach just a little farther, so not directly below the knees. And then stabilize the core, drawing the belly in on that exhale. And then on the inhale, press through the heels of your feet, squeeze through your buttocks and lift those hips up and lower back down. Inhale and lift up, so engage. Inhale, lift, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four, five, six. Relax, engage. Inhale, lift, two, three, four, relax down, two, three, four, five, six, and soften. Engage, three, two, three, four, and lower, two, three, four, five, six. Two more rounds. Well done. Bring one knee in towards the body. Extend the second leg out long. Draw that knee over. Use the hand to help leverage that rotation, rotating the hips to stack and the knee to work towards the floor on the other side. Land it on a bolster or a pillow if the floor is just too far away. Draw the knee into the belly. Use the opposite arm. So I'm using my back arm now to press down through the upper arm and the elbow to leverage me back to neutral. Bring in the bottom leg. So both knees come in. Take a few knee circles. Massaging out that SI, the sacroiliac joint, the back of the pelvis, the bottom of the spine. And reverse. Good. Second side. For me, it's the left leg. The second leg stays into the belly. Stand and extend as far as it will reach the right leg. Breathe. Good. Using the left hand, that's the back hand as leverage. Press down to shift the hips, stacking one on top of the other. Swivel if you need to and lower that left knee towards the floor. The left arm can fan out behind you hold the hips, or even extend out in a way that feels good for your chest. Relaxing the buttocks, relaxing the belly. And then releasing the shape, same way we did before, bring the knee in, roll back onto your back body. This time, folding the knees towards either a happy baby, so the knees go wide, the hand reaches as far down or up, depending on how you want to orient, towards the feet. This is the happy baby variation. Or you could bring the soles of the feet together and bring the heels of your feet towards the groin, towards the center 
of your pelvic floor. Three more breaths. Inhale, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale. Well done. As you release, shake out, lower down, spread out to welcome in support. Here is your restoration, a balancing of the effort, a releasing of the intention and an allowing to just be. Perhaps you scan the body and notice where you can feel that touch down connection behind the head, behind the shoulders, behind the buttocks. Hopefully, ideally behind the thighs. More on that later. Behind the calves and behind or under the heel of the foot. Plant the feet and rest the knees into a leaning form if that feels better for your low back. Three more conscious breaths and then let go of all control. <sighs> Rest feels complete. Roll out of Savasana. Set an intention perhaps as you roll to one side, maybe affirming the fact that you showed up and you breathed, you moved and you rested. And as we resume our activities of the day, 
be they a day of activity or rest, be they a challenge or one of ease, know that you lay the foundation for wellness by practicing your yoga. May you breathe deeply, move freely, labor lovingly so that you may live vibrantly. Namaste.